Now let us discuss about the characteristics of matter particles. Matter is made up of very small particles which are beyond our imagination. The particles of matter are very small. Now we are going to discuss about the three main characteristics of particles of matter. And the first main characteristics of the particles of matter are these particles have space between them. So this can be explained by taking an example of salt dissolving in water. First let us take some water in a beaker up to certain level then dissolve salt in it. After dissolving we observe that the level is not changed that is the water level is not changed before dissolving and also after dissolving. So from this observation we can say that salt particles are evenly distributed in water and these salt particles get into spaces between the particles of the water part water. So this shows that particles of matter have space between them. We also observe this phenomena when we dissolve sugar, detal and potassium permanganate in water. The second characteristic is these particles of matter are continuously moving that is they possess kinetic energy. When, when the temperature is increased particles move faster. They also get intermixed between the particles of other type of matter. This intermixing of particles of two types of matter on their own is called diffusion. So for example smell we feel while cooking. So we feel the smell in other room when somebody is cooking in your kitchen. There the diffusion is taking place and the particles move continuously and we feel the smell when these particles reach to us. So the coffee cup shown here is also resembling the same situation. Then the third main characteristic of the matter particles is particles attract each other. That is particles have attracting force between them. So particles have force acting between them which keeps the particles together. So the force keeps those all particles together which makes the substance stronger. That's why when we try to break a rod with hands or hammer an iron nail, we observe that they don't break easily as they are held with greater forces of attraction. So to break them we need to apply a greater force than the force of attraction by which they are held. So here we, are, we can observe the figure of breaking 